All right, hello. Uh, this video obviously is entitled Inertia, and it's about inertia, and it's also entitled What It Is and What It Isn't. Um, I'm not sure whether people have a hard time figuring out what inertia is or trying to figure out what it isn't. Okay, so let's go through it and see if we can get it all straight. It seems relatively straightforward, except, you know, inertia is kind of an ambiguous thing. It's hard. We don't really think about it too much, but we, of course, we use it all the time or use against it all the time. And uh, inertia is uh, often equated to, I shouldn't say often, but in the Eureka video we watched, it's equated to laziness. They said it has to do with laziness, and that's because inertia, it's kind of its formal definition, is a tendency of an object to resist changes in its velocity or in its motion. So uh, what that basically means is if you have a certain motion or a certain velocity, you want to keep doing that. And of course, that's, uh, we have to kind of think about that in the absence of uh, friction in a lot of cases. But it kind of comes under two subcategories here. Tendency of an object to remain at rest. So if you're remaining at rest, if you're at rest, you want to remain at rest, which they said that was being lazy. And then if you want to uh, remain in motion, if you're going with a certain velocity, and a certain speed in a certain direction, then you want to tend, you have a tendency to want to keep doing that. So, and because you want to keep doing that, then they kind of call that laziness again. At least that's what they said in that Eureka video that we watched. But I thought that's a pretty good way to look at it. So you either want to remain at rest, or you want to remain in motion. And in order to get you to stop remaining at rest, or in order to get you to stop remaining in this motion, you have to apply a force. So forces are what cause acceleration and you're typically kind of fighting against your inertia. Think about a big object and a little object. You want to get each of those accelerating from rest or changing its motion. Uh, the bigger object is going to require a greater force because that's right, it has more inertia, tendency to keep going, right? We kind of use that a little bit term in popular uh, common speech. You know, it's kind of, uh, people think of it a little bit like momentum, but of course, it's not the same as momentum either. So, but it's important to remember that inertia is not a force. Okay, inertia is a property of matter, and that's kind of what uh, they Bill Nye often says in his videos, at the very beginning of his videos, which people kind of remember. Inertia is a property of matter because the more mass you have, the more inertia you have. The less mass you have, the less inertia. Inertia is only related to your mass. It's not related. To your speed, your velocity, or your acceleration. So if you have a certain mass and you have a certain speed and you take the same mass and you increase its speed, the inertia does not change because the mass does not change. All right, and again, it doesn't, it's not related to your velocity and it's not related to your uh, acceleration, at least in kind of what we call Newtonian mechanics at slower speeds. So um, that's it. Inertia is mass and it's a tendency for an object to want to stay where it is or to keep going down the block. Thank you very much.